Hello and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition showcase and tutorial. Today I'm going to be looking at the Minecraft version switcher plus which is an upgrade from my original version switcher and what it does is it allows you to switch between different Minecraft versions including the betas and the preview versions now as well which opens as a separate app. The great thing about this for me personally is that it combines all of your world's packs and settings using profiles so you can have the same worlds and packs on normal Minecraft as you can on the preview as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Before we do anything, the first thing we're going to need to do is make sure that we have developer mode turned on on our Windows installation. This is for Windows 10 and 11. You can find it by typing in developer settings in either your settings screen or on the Windows taskbar. Just flick that on and make sure your user account is an administrator for your system. Otherwise, this won't work. So. I suppose we should figure out what it's all about and how we do it. So we're going to start by closing all of this down and going over to foxynotail.com where you can go to downloads, tools and software and in here you'll see a bunch of different pieces of software now. We've got the Minecraft preview version switcher which is a standalone piece of software that just allows you to have different profiles for the preview and different versions of the preview that will load and launch. This won't combine them with the normal Minecraft one. We've got the Bedrock version switcher, which is the original version, which does exactly the same thing, but just for Minecraft and the betas. And now we have the Minecraft version switcher plus. Going into this is very simple. You've got a big download button here. You click on that, you click on that, and then you just find a place on your PC to install it to. Bear in mind, this is only for Windows 10 and 11 because that's all the Minecraft Windows version will run on. So we're going to save that to our C drive, close my website, and then opening up that folder where it lives, you can see we've got a new folder here. Now, I've already extracted the files for all of the different version switches here, but we'll go through the process anyway. You can either double click on the zip file, open it up, and then just drag that folder wherever you want it. All of the correct files for that are inside, or you can do right click on it. If you've got seven zip like I have, you can just do extract here and that will extract that folder onto your system and you're ready to go. So loading up this for the first time, you'll see that you've got no versions to play and that you've got no preview versions to play and you're also just stuck on a default or new profile. So let's look at how we get the different versions in here for you to play them. You'll notice the folder we've downloaded has three folders. The data one you can ignore, that's just for the program to work. We've got the profiles folder, which has a new folder in there. To create a new profile, it is just as simple as making a new folder and calling it whatever you want. So if you've got a profile that you want to do all of your add-on testing in, or you've got some particular packs and things you like to have on, you can add that in there. And the next time you open this up, you'll see that will come in there. So when you click on a profile and you go to plain Minecraft, once you've got a version installed, what that will do, it will connect Minecraft to that instead of using the default folder. And then all of the settings and worlds and things you add to that add-on will go inside of this add-on folder here, which means that when you uninstall Minecraft or delete it or anything like that, it's not going to be deleted from your normal com.moyang folder. So everything's safe and you can keep them all separate. But we're not too worried about the profiles right now. What we're worried about is how we get the different versions on here. And we're going to go over to a third-party tool that's just made exactly for this. The easiest way to download different versions of Minecraft Bedrock Edition is to use the MC Launcher tool provided by MC Mr. Arm. This isn't anything to do with me. I haven't made it. I'm not responsible for it. I don't have anything to do with the development of it, but it's absolutely fantastic. If you click on the releases, you can grab the latest version of it. Again, download that to your system. Go back to where you've installed it open up the zip file and this time you probably want to make a folder to put this thing in rather than just extracting here if you extract here it's just going to dump all of those files into the same place which can get quite messy let's make a new folder we'll call it mc launcher open up the zip file and all i'm going to do is i'm grab those and i'm going to throw them into there now when you open up mc launcher it's been improved so that you've got three different tabs now. You've got one for the stable releases of Minecraft, one for the betas of Minecraft, and one for the preview versions of Minecraft. Bear in mind the beta for Windows has now been cancelled. There will be no more betas coming out for the Windows version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. All of the new stuff's going to be in the preview. And all you do here is you just download whichever version you want. So if you want the latest stable release, grab that and click download. If you want the preview, go to the whichever preview you want and click download and it will start downloading those it's going to download them as app x files inside of this folder that you've just added 
but then it will extract them into their folders. The other way to get hold of the different versions of Minecraft and the preview is obviously to get them from the official Microsoft Store and they will go onto your PC, but they're very difficult to get the version files back out of. They end up being stored on your C drive, in your program files, and all the way down at the bottom here in Windows Apps, which is a hidden and locked folder which you have to do some work on to allow yourself permission to get in there. Once you do get permission to get in there though, you will find eventually if you've got Minecraft installed through the store or the preview installed through the store, you'll find the folders in there and then you can use those instead. Now, if you're worried about the legalities of using Mr. Arm's MC Launcher because effectively you're downloading these things from a different source, don't worry, it's all connected to the Microsoft Store and you do need to have purchased Minecraft to get these. This is not a way to get Minecraft for free. I would never, ever promote that. And if you are looking for that, you're in the wrong place and maybe go and have a word with yourself because Minecraft is cheap and it's an amazing game that keeps getting updated and updated and updated. It's worth the money. Trust me, I play it every day. Just in case you are getting your versions from the Windows Store or from somewhere else where you might be getting the Apex from, just bear in mind in order for this to work, there's one file that you're going to need to delete when you copy these folders through, and that's the Apex signature. When you are moving these files into your versions directory, just delete that and everything will work. If you leave it in, they won't launch. So skipping forward to the future with Mr. Arms Launcher, I have now installed Minecraft 1.18.30.4, 1.18.30, 1.4, and two versions of the preview as well. Now I could go to the effort of selecting all these, copying them or trying to move them into my version switcher versions folder, which is where they really need to be for the system to work, or alternatively to make life easier for me today and for the future, if I go to the options file inside of my version switcher folder, you will see there is a version directory which allows it to tell the system where the versions are. And we can link this to where we've just downloaded them automatically. So going back to Mr. Arm's launcher software, if I grab this directory tree here, which is C, dev test MC launcher for me, for you it will probably be different. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste that here. If your version directory has a space in it for whatever reason, don't worry about it. Don't wrap it in quotes or anything like that. Just leave it as it is. And when you save that and close it and open up the version switcher again, you should see all of those versions listed that you've got inside of your MC Launcher folder. So now we can launch any of these. We can also select which profile we want, but we're going to stick with the default for now, which is the main com.mojang folder that you'll find in the standard directories for Minecraft. So if I go to Minecraft 1.18.34 and click play Minecraft, it's going to ask me, do I want to load that? I'm going to hit yes, but it's going to tell me there's an error because I've already got Minecraft installed on my system and this needs to overwrite it, but it can't if it's already installed somewhere else. So what I need to do is click on uninstall Minecraft. And when I do that, it's going to tell me that everything inside of my com.mojang folder, all of my worlds, packs, and add-ons are going to be deleted. This is very normal, so we need to make a backup first. If you don't know where that folder is, there is a list to it here, but you can't click and copy the, pe the text. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit no. We're going to go back to our folder. We're going to go into the options folder, and you'll see here we've got the Minecraft package directory, and we've also got the free preview package directory. So what we're going to do is grab that there, copy it, go to our file explorer, click on this button up here, and then paste that in. But where the local app data is, we need to change that to percent sign local app data percent sign, and then hit return. And that will take us directly to our Minecraft installation, assuming you've got Minecraft installed on your system already. Then you go to games and your com.mojang folder, ignore this one because this is what my system creates. Anything inside here is going to get deleted. So make sure you take a backup of that either by sipping it up and moving it somewhere else or just moving it all to a different folder. I'm not worried about it for me because I know all of that stuff's rubbish in there. And obviously you need to make sure if you're going to be using the preview as well, that's got a completely separate folder. So you need to go through the same process. So in this time, we're going to grab our preview package directory. We're going to paste that into there. And again, we're going to change local app data to percent sign local app data percent sign hit return. And this is going to take us to the one for the preview. Now, if you go to games, com.mojang, you need to make a backup of all of those as well. Otherwise, if you've got important things in there, they're going to get deleted. So we can close out of those things now. Once we've taken our backups, we can go to uninstall Minecraft, click on yes, and that 
is going to completely erase Minecraft from our system. That's whether you've got it installed from the store or installed from another version switcher that's located somewhere else on your system. And once that's finished, you should be ready to go. So now when we click play, play Minecraft, it's going to ask us if we want to launch that. We're going to hit yes. We shouldn't get an error this time. And after a couple of seconds of it installing the game, it's going to load Minecraft up. And we've now got Minecraft installed on our system from the version switcher, which is relating directly to these files that we have downloaded from Mr. Art. So it's pulling this information from here. Now, when it loads up, you can see this is 1.18.31. Now we want to check out if switching it works. So I'm going to close that. Go back to our version switcher and now I'm going to change it to 1.18.30 and hit play Minecraft. And it's going to notice that we're playing a different version. Ask us if we want to change our version. Hit yes. And then this should load up that version now as well. And once that version has finished loading, you can see it is now 1.18.30. That's worked absolutely perfectly. And both of those are running from the default profile. So what if we want to change the profile? What if we want to add a new profile that's got some packs in it? Let's click on add-ons there, play Minecraft again, click yes, and this time it's going to load that up as the folder, which means if we're looking in the background as that's loading there, if we go to our profiles folder and add-ons, you'll see it's populated this folder with all of the normal Minecraft Bedrock Edition stuff. So what I'm going to do here is get rid of all of these pop-ups. I'm going to go to settings, video. I'm going to turn off screen animations. I'm going to turn the brightness up. I'm going to hide the paper doll. I'm going to change my field of view. I'm going to turn off view bobbin. I'm going to turn off FOV. And I'm going to turn my chunk render distance down to 20. Basically all the settings I like. I'm going to turn my keyboard and mouse sensitivity down to a sensitivity that I prepare. And I'm even going to install a couple of packs into there. So let's close Minecraft. Go to the add-ons profile. And now I'm going to chuck a couple of resource packs into the resource packs folder here. So I've grabbed my brightness pack available from my website and my pack that I have all of my usual stuff in available from my website. And now when I launch the launcher again and go back to play Minecraft with the add-ons profile selected, I should see those in game. Okay, so it's loaded up. I'm going to hit settings. I'm going to go to global resources. I can see both of those packs are in there. I'm going to activate those packs so they're in my active packs. I'm going to come out of that. It's going to load those into the system. And then I'm going to create a new world. I'm just going to call it Minecraft Test and keep it nice and simple and hit Create. So we're just creating a blank world. And this world is going to be stored in that profile folder, not in our default programs folder. Click Proceed. And now we're playing Minecraft just as you normally would. Everything will work absolutely perfectly. But what if I want to use this profile on the preview? Okay, well, let's do that. So let's quit out of this. Close Minecraft. And now we're going to keep the profile on add-ons, but this time we're going to play the preview. So I'm going to click on play preview. It's probably going to tell me I got it installed somewhere else. So I'm going to have to uninstall the other version of the preview that I've already got installed from the Microsoft store. Wait a second for these buttons to reactivate. That means it's finished. Click on play preview. Press yes. Wait for it to install for a second. And then once that's loaded, we should see that all of my settings, worlds and packs are the same. So let's go to settings. Let's go to global resources and you can see my active packs are already active. You can see the video changes that I've made have stayed changed and you can see the keyboard and mouse sensitivity has changed. And if we go to play preview, you'll also see my Minecraft test world is in there. And if we click on that, we can enter that just like we could if it was normal Minecraft. Now, bear in mind, though, now that I've opened this world in the preview, the world is going to be updated to the preview version, which means that world is no longer going to be accessible by Minecraft because this is effectively a newer version. But here we go. We're in. Everything's working on the preview. So now if I move that to one side, go back to my version switcher and hit play Minecraft, we're going to have Minecraft over here. We're going to have the preview over here both running on the same profile with both having access to the same things. So going to play, we can see Minecraft survival test. If we click it, it says a new version has made it. So we're going to need to create a new world for this one. So we'll just call this not preview. Click on create. And now we've got Minecraft running one world, Minecraft preview running another, but all sharing the same resources, all sharing the same settings, all sharing the same resource packs and add-ons, which means you don't have to keep messing about copying and pasting them from one to another. And that's basically everything in a nutshell. If you don't want to play with a, your own profile and you just want to stick to the default ones, then it will have a separate one for Minecraft and a separate one for the preview because it will be using their default 
places where it stores the world. I wouldn't recommend using the default because when you uninstall Minecraft or uninstall the preview, everything inside of that default profile will be deleted. You shouldn't need to uninstall Minecraft or the preview now because changing versions will just overwrite it because it's working from the same directory, so that's all good. Now, if you want to have a different profile, let's say on your Minecraft Bedrock Edition, but you want to have a different one on your preview, there's no way to do that with this app. That's where my separate versions of these apps come along. So we could have the preview version switcher, which allows us to have different add-ons just for the preview, which does exactly the same thing. And we've got my older version switcher, which is exactly the same thing for Minecraft. So you can have as many different profiles for each different version of the game with those. For me personally though, I like being able to transfer everything from one version of Minecraft to the next. So having something like this is really useful for me. And that's it. That's all there is to it. I hope this is useful to you. If you enjoyed this video, maybe check this one out.